sorry. You're safe now. It's okay. My boy, forgive me, Lenny. My money. Your money? Come on. Let's go. It's over. Dear 47, if you read this letter, I am most likely dead. You will have shot me for a traitor, and Travis will have won. Do not let him have the girl as well. Travis's division was conducting genetic experiments without the agency's knowledge, and Victoria was their crowning achievement. Give her the choice you never had. Protect Victoria and kill Benjamin Travis. Good luck, 47. Diana. I have kept my promise. Victoria is safe. Her future is now her own. Only one thing remains. Travis. He is out there, hiding behind his ICA muscle. His cowardice only matched by his increasing paranoia. This is how it's supposed to be. Me, a target, a contract. I already know how this will end. Hey everybody, Gorilla47 here, back for Hitman Absolution, the final mission, Absolution. And this is done on Expert. Uh, there's three parts to this mission. The first part is the cemetery entrance, the second part is the Burnwood family tomb, and the third part is the crematorium. Again, this is done on Expert, and I'll show you how to bypass everybody, get the evidence, kill Jade, and then finally, kill Benjamin Travis. So, let's get to it. Humans have been escorted from the premises. We have the place to ourselves. Travis, is the line secure? Go ahead. At this point, we've located the Burnwood family grave site. Very Buy up well. Some time. Proceed with the excavation. Honestly, I don't know what you're saying. I think I heard find. something. Our Maybe investigation was thorough. Sometime. Diana Burnwood died that day. We have the police Come and autopsy. Reports. 47 himself confirmed the kill. What more do you want? We've underestimated 47 more than once. No, I don't buy it. Burnwood is more than capable of faking her own death. She could outsmart you in a heartbeat. hard to come back, and we're gonna get his uniform. We're gonna get this guy's disguise. <laughs> this guy's disguise. Alright. Attack! Out. Uniform. Now before we make a move and drag his body. No, 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 no. Right there. Right there. Right here. Good. Stay right here. Drop the body. Good boy. That guard there and that guard. We don't want them to see us to uh, dispose of the body. Once they turn around, we make a move, dump them right in here. Alright, at that point. Sneaky, sneaky. Now we're just going to play a little bit of a waiting game. Just stay right here. Alright, there's a three man patrol that goes from that end all the way to that end at the cemetery gate. Three man patrol. Right there. And in the middle is evidence. So I'm going to wait for these guys to pass by from that point all the way to that point. And once they go from there to there, we're going to make our move. So 
so we should play a little bit of a waiting game. At the same time, we don't want we don't want us to get caught taking the evidence there with this guy here, right there, right this guy, right there. This uh, cock block. All right. These guys are making their patrol. Before we make a move, I want to make sure this guy does not see us, turns around, and goes back over there. Okay, make our move. We make a move right now. At this point, grab the evidence, use the tombstone here as to block the line of sight. Come up right over here. Kind of hide behind over here a little bit. Who is that? Use a little bit of instinct. Come up here. Make sure no one's looking. We pick the lock. And we're good. Easy, no? Management already suspects we lied about the Hope operation. And when they hear you pulled the family to tomb, one of the most coolest, the easiest, <laughs> by the far the easiest uh, level rogue, to complete. Project, See that trooper down there? Exposed. He makes a I'm L patrol. Once he turns around, goes down that hall, or Man, down this we'll area, or down over there, the make her move. You wanted to play in the big leagues. Well, this is your chance. Every day you start writing up your own epitaph. He's doing that. Alright. Make your way over here. Jade's over there. That's Jade. Why is that coffin not above the The crane up on the Come so what up are here. you doing on patrol? Huckless Travis roll. put you on his personal guard. <laughs> well, Mr. Paranoid hired some freelance tougher than nails SAS and Mossad types to take over protection duty. Call themselves the Praetorians after the Roman Emperor's personal guard. Best in the world, apparently. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm kind of relieved. 47 is really on the move. Travis is just a walking, breathing bullseye. Alright, after that conversation, we make her move. Hurry it up. Just in, case, just in case. We're good. Pass that guy. We're gonna pass another guy. Do the ultimate sneaky, sneaky stealth type movement, which is right here. Bam! A couple months ago, she wouldn't even make eye contact, and now all of a sudden she's handing out orders. You ever seen a hyena stalking a wounded animal? Jade knows Travis is slipping. All right. The way I see it, she's just waiting to give him that one final push. Make sure push. that guard doesn't see us. Funny thing is, he doesn't even notice us right behind him. And we're good. Grab this disguise. Come up here. There's evidence on... All's clear on our end. These boxes. Good. And the only person that can see through our disguise is that scientist. Right now, we have to go to. We just came from there. Jade. Nothing to report. What's the holdup, Jade? Crane malfunction. It'll be Ooh, up and running in a minute. See that it does. I'm setting up base on the hill. Report <laughs> back <laughs> when you have the body. My Too guards bad, are to instructed to open fire on anyone who approaches. In. 47 knows better than to make an appearance. And what am I, bait? Asshole. Alright, at that point with the conversation... Doctor, a word please? Don't interrupt the conversation between her and uh, Jade. Get out of here! And when she's hey, done with the conversation, nice uh, make sure she notices you, and proceed on. And when she says, Doctor, a word please, immediately come up here. Immediately. Come to the crane. Uh, towards the button. And uh, we're gonna have ourselves the next up to death. And like I said, the only person that can see through our disguise is the other scientist. So let's hope that um, 
hoping that he comes. Here he comes. So, at this point, Travis. Fun. And we're done. Well, you don't have to worry about her talking. And we're done. Now, at the end, uh, we have to go to uh, the crematory entrance. Hey. If we had a bit more time, we would have she would have conversed with us about um, the uh, the tomb. But uh, with the scientist coming, that's that was going to happen. That was not going to happen, for sure. Now I just like to make sure that this guard just comes and passes us, because if he sees us picking the lock, we are SOL. Well, What's up, buddy? And once he turns around, pick the lock. And onward to the final part of this mission. Travis to Praetorians. Now we got three guys, the Praetorians here. We are here, on though. high alert. Close ranks and shoot anyone who approaches. Really are the best. This is the time to prove it. No, I am the best. All right. Make sure that this guy doesn't see us climb up. And of course, there are infrared traps. There's booby traps, basically. They use uh, infrared lasers. They use lasers. Quickly now. John Hoplon. First target. John Hoplon is with the uh, shooting shooting ears. Or hearing protection. Our next guy is uh, Carrie Scrotum. That's his name, Scrotum. Nah. Scutum. Carrie Scutum. But I, carry, I call him Carrie Scrotum. Alright. He's the guy with a hat. Alright, at that point, I'm gonna sneak up behind them and butt rape them. Bam! Second guy down. I like the 47 animation of him uh, kicking someone in the back of the leg and then uh, Baba wearing his ass. Just like that. So cool. Alright, come on. Dump him. Alright, at this point. Last guy's at the far end. Right there. Funny he didn't even see our shadow. What? Bam. And we're done. Easy, no? Easy. Drag his body, dump it, get the points. And we're golden. Like I said, just be careful with the mines here. Just be very, very careful. Like that, see? Right there. That's a mine. Be very careful. And there's a mine right over here. Don't be stupid to uh, take the stairs because the stairs are rigged with mines. And lastly, evidence. We are done. We are technically done. Technically done. Well, we just got one more thing to do. Pick up the explosives and then plant it on a door, and then we're finally done. But before we deal with Benjamin Travis, just take a look inside. Come into this window, just look. This is already a scripted event in the game. Uh, once we put the explosives in, uh, goes into a cinematic, 
and then you'll see, like, briefly on the floor, debris. But this is, uh, this is funny. I mean, it's, it's already there. It's already planted. Including a, um, a toppled, uh, flower vase. Same thing on the other side. I mean, you don't see Benjamin. You don't see Ben in there. Looks like Ben is on exactly right behind this door. Alright, so that's basically it. Plant the explosives. Run away! And we're done. You big ball fuck! <coughs> she was made to be a killer, just like you! <coughs> it was gonna be... perfect. Uh, all right. Just tell me... Did you kill her? <coughs> Diana... She really did. You will never know. Excellent work, 47. The money has been wired to your account. Welcome back. And thank you. Yep, the highest that I can achieve, Shadow. Cemetery, I mean, there's no um, specific target to kill. You just have to pacify one guy to get his uniform. That's the only, the, that's the highest score that I can get. I mean, yeah, I can go only for your suits only, but that would be a little bit difficult. But it can be done. It can be done. Um, which, what I've done and what is shown can transition into purist. Again, purist is basically like expert minus a HUD and minus the, um, minus the radar. That's basically it. So, yeah. By far, this game is a blast. This was a blast to play. And especially this last mission. I love this last mission. I mean, there's many ways to uh, uh, get to um, your end goal, which is basically kill Benjamin Travis, but overall, I mean, this mission by far is the most fun that I've had. Alright, so after this, there's going to be another cinematic, and um, the credits basically include this game. So I actually think Square Enix... Uh, Idos. I don't know if Idos is still working or still alive, but uh, the creators of this game, I thank them for making an awesome game. I highly rate it. Give it two thumbs up. Um, if you're a fan of Hitman, this is by far a game that you should play. I love playing the shit out of it. I also love playing uh, Blood Money. Blood Money was by far my favorite. By far my favorite. Compared to this, Blood Money was by far my favorite game to play. So yeah. And, uh, yeah. So, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe for more video game walkthroughs and ASP videos. Do know I do have a lot more videos that I will be uploading. I have a ton of ton of videos in my on my editing table. And more videos that I gotta film. Um, it's just 
at times I'm like, oh, do I really want to film? Do I? Uh, it's I procrastinate, and sometimes my procrastination does, you know, hinder me from making quality videos. But don't worry, I will make. I will keep continuing making videos. I'll continue to make videos, especially uh, in-depth walkthroughs. And I do have a few video game video games that I do want to create uh, walkthroughs for. So yeah, like I said again, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Please do subscribe. If you, uh, I've seen a lot of people subscribe to my channel and it's a huge, huge support. Um, it keeps me going and making these types of videos, including also um, other videos for the uh, ASP. So, like I said again, and I'll say it again, thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thanks for watching. Let's go to the, uh, the last cinematic. Just ignore this. Who are you? <clears throat> you really want to know? Because I can help you find them. For a price, of course.